Well, hello and welcome. I'm Laura Brandenburg, the author of the best-selling book, How to Start a Business Analyst Career, and the founder and CEO of Bridging the Gap, where we help mid-career professionals start business analyst careers. So I'm recording this video very close to Thanksgiving time in the U.S., and it always makes me think, I try to live my whole life with gratitude, but Thanksgiving is always a great time, a great trigger to really even bring more of our gratitude into play um, and specifically look for different ways to have gratitude in my life. And I got to thinking about how grateful I am for all of us as business analysts and the kind of work that we do and how impactful that is in our organizations today. And I know a lot of you uh, feel very underappreciated in your role, like people don't really understand your value. I hear these messages over and over again inside the Bridging the Gap community about how you know people don't understand what I do and they're not grateful for the work, I, not, not even grateful, but they just don't even understand, right? So I wanted to share just a very heartfelt, sincere thank you for everything you do as a business analyst, for the meetings that you prepare for, uh, the meetings you facilitate and jumping right in and helping different stakeholders work through their differences and figure out what they really want out of the project. Uh, for the requirements you write, right? Like those, that's the output of our work as business analysts. There's a lot that goes into that. We talk about that a lot, all the stuff that goes into getting the requirements, but the requirements that are clear and complete and easy to understand and easy to use, right? I'm very thankful that you do all of that for caring about the problem that we're solving inside your organization. So every, every project solves some sort of problem for your clients, for your customers, for your internal stakeholders and your external stakeholders. And often you as the business analyst are the only one who really sees that from so many different angles. So thank you for taking the time and paying attention to the problem to be solved uh, and caring about that problem. Uh, and then finally, for the related to the problem is the actual value that's generated by the project, right? So seeing a project as an expression of value, seeing the end result as valuable for your organization, possibly even doing some influencing and leadership within your organization to help other people understand the problem that they might not be understanding otherwise. So appreciate the work that you're doing there as well. Uh, and you know, another way to think about gratitude for business analysts is what would, what would the world look like if there were no people doing business analysis inside of organizations? Oh my goodness, right? We would not know what we want. We would have stakeholders who choose not to talk to each other. We would have developers building the things that maybe one person said they wanted but another you know said they wanted something else and so there'd be a lot of rework and a lot of uh, craziness and so think about that within the context of your project team how different things are because you're there the context of your organization how different things are because you're doing the work that you do and I really think we can look at this on a much grander scale too and then the context of the entire world how much better we are for the projects that are more successful and how our work as business analysts really has this ripple effect across um, across everything we touch and everything that our projects touch and everything that our organizations touch. So I just want to thank you. You probably feel like a small piece of that um, in your day-to-day -day work, but your work has an, a tremendous, tremendous rip, ripple effect across the world, across everything that is happening and everything that your organization touches and everything that you touch. And so I really appreciate the work that you're doing. I appreciate the investments you make in yourself to improve that work. Uh, and I appreciate you for doing what you do and choosing to be a business analyst. I know you have a lot of different career options uh, and you've made a choice that hopefully you find personally fulfilling and that is financially and personally rewarding for you as well. 
So again, my name is Laura Brandenburg. I'm the author of How to Start a Business Analyst Career and the founder and CEO of Bridging the Gap. And at Bridging the Gap, we help mid-career professionals start business analyst careers. Uh, and I'd be happy to help you with that. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and check out our website for a lot more resources. Again, thank you for what you do. And if you're seeing this around Thanksgiving time, happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.